Hi. The tea is almost finished. Just the top part is missing. The underlay stitch follows roughly the curve of the line. The flirting thread can be pulled into the correct shape with the sateen stitch later. It is important that the needle is placed inside the shape or, or following the line. What I mean is keeping the point where the needle comes in and out of the fabric inside or on the curl line. As my teacher loves to say, gut gespinkt is halbe plattet. Uh, freely translated that means a good underlay stitch is half the work for the satin stitch. So the underlay stitch, even so it's not seen, is almost as important as the satin stitch later. The easiest way to pull the float into place is to come up with the needle on the outside of the curve and pull the thread in place when going back down. As this bar has two opposing curves and I'm always embroidering from left to right and up to down, I have to start somewhere in the middle to achieve the best outcome. The tighter the curve is, the sooner I have to turn my hoop again. In the very tight curve, like at the end of this line, it's almost after every stitch.
At the end of this section, I did not jump from the end of the line back to the middle, as this would give me quite a long float thread, which I tried to avoid. Floats can be a weak point in the embroidery, depending on your finished products, so it's best to avoid them. Because of the zoomed in camera frame and the turning hoop, I have to keep checking if what I'm doing is still in the frame and adjust the camera if necessary. And I totally forgot to do that in the end. I was so focused in the embroidery. Maybe next time I should make my life a little bit easier and place a motif in the middle of the hoop. And of course not forget to check the camera once in a while. Anyway, have a great day.